Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the World Stage Arts Education and Performance Gallery, dedicated to seeking light through sound. Enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the World Stage's celebration of the birthday of our founder, the great Billy Higgins, put them together, ladies and gentlemen. This is the world stage, the one and only world stage. This is it. We are here tonight. We are gathered here, people that loved our founder, the great Billy Higgins. On Wikipedia, I found out this evening, there is not much mention of one, the greatest jazz drummer who ever lived, who recorded with all the greats. Wikipedia credits him with founding the world stage. That's, what they, that's the main thing they give Billy, Billy Higgins credit for. Billy Higgins played with literally everybody in music. Look him up. Follow his name through someone's discography, and you will find some of the greatest music recorded in the 20th century with Billy Higgins on the kit, ladies and gentlemen. We are so happy to be here tonight. This is in celebration of the birthday of the great Billy Higgins. His birthday. October 11th is his birthday. We're celebrating it tonight with this fine assemblage of musicians you'll see behind me. We'll introduce them all in time, but under the tutelage and the baton of the great Marvin Smitty Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Put them together. I'm just overwhelmed. This is a great t group of talented musicians. So on behalf of the world stage, on behalf of Dwight Tribble and Renee Fisher and the entire staff and management of the world stage, we like to welcome you one and all. Enjoy this performance tonight because this is music from the heart. This is jazz music, ladies and gentlemen. Put them together once again for this fine assemblage of musicians for the birthday of the great Billy Higgins, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.
All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world famous jazz stage. And tonight is a very uh, special night for me personally and for, uh, for all of us here. Um, we are you know, celebrating the life and the legacy of the Godfather and the visionary of this hallowed hall, the world stage, our Godfather, the great Billy Higgins. Uh, I am eternally grateful for you know, his mentorship and uh, just leading by example you know, of the excellence in his uh, musicianship and his uh, excellence in, in terms of his character. You know? And he was always given, he was a proud native Angelino. He loved his community and he loved his, the people and this is why he created this space to give back to his community, give back to his people. And so the, there's great things that are going on here through workshops and, and all in the concerts that they uh, present here in the live stream where people all over the world are seeing us and the many groups that come through here. So we're very grateful to the Godfather for making this possible. So I am truly grateful. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the music that we're playing uh, are basically selections of the myriad of, uh, of compositions that Billy Higgins recorded. Uh, and he's one of the most recorded drummers in music history. And so we're just taking a snippet of his legacy. And this first piece we just played was on a Hank Mobley record called Dippin'. And this song was called The Breakthrough. Right now we're gonna play another composition that was on a Lee Morgan record called The Rump Roller, and this is a Wayne Shorter composition called Edda. We hope you enjoy.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, composition was uh, written by one of uh, great Billy Higgins, one of dearest friends and longest relationships uh, in the music, the great Cedar Walton. And that piece was uh, called Something in Common. And that, you can actually find that on a recording. Uh, it's a, it was actually a live recording from the, from the group Eastern Rebellion. And the name of the album is Just One of Those Nights, live at the Village Vanguard. And on that live recording is our very own Ralph Moore on tenor and soprano saxophone. And this next composition is another composition that is on that same recording. And this is another Cedar Walton composition called Jacob's Ladder, and it's going to feature Chris Lowry and Ralph Moore on soprano saxophone, along with Adam Ledbetter, as we affectionately call him, Butter. <laughs>
Well, no, Dale Butter. <laughs> Okay, here goes another classic Cedar Walton composition called Hindsight. I think that's the title track to his album. I, I can't remember, or what, I, I forgot the name of the record. But it was like his electric, he was, he was doing more electric type, you know, music. Uh, and I forgot, the, I forgot the name of the record. But Hindsight is on that album. So this is Hindsight, Cedar Walton.
I guess I better announce this one since I'm, you know, trying to direct traffic here. I'm trying to, you know, to, now see, this, this is what happens in a group, especially when you have a larger group. You know, trio is one thing, quartet, you know, still kind of, speak, but, you know, we, we got a sextet. We got three horn players, you know. So I'm trying to make sure, like, you know, I'm a sports guy, and I thought, you know, like in basketball, everybody gets their touches. Everybody get their hands on the ball and get a chance and score, right? So I'm trying to make sure everybody gets some in, right? Yeah, I ain't trying to leave nobody out. I ain't trying to let nobody hog up the spot, right? So, but, so I'm trying to distribute, you know, according. So, so th th that's the whole thing, right? So anyway, so anyway, uh, thank, yeah, yeah. Th thank you for hindsight. Uh, this next composition is another Cedar Walton composition. And this is on a studio recording, uh, Eastern Rebellion. And this, uh, the name of the album is Simple Pleasure. And this composition is called In the Kitchen, so as you know it's soulful. And this, this, uh, that record, that recording, also features my man, Ralph Moore, on, on saxophone. You know, he had, he, you know he, had, he had the honor and pleasure of working with, uh, with Cedar Walton and our godfather, Billy Higgins, for several years. And, you know, and the beautiful thing about it, he, he was documented on a few recordings, so that's just a great thing. It's nice to have that for life, right? So anyway, we're going uh, we to straight down the pike, shuffle on in, in the kitchen. Cedar Walton, we hope you enjoy.
Marvin Smitty Smith. Marvin Smitty Smith. Everybody get on your feet. Happy birthday, Billy Higgins. There's nobody better that could have done this celebration as good as this group right here. Nobody could have done this better. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Smitty. Thank you for putting this thing together. Oh, my God. Thank you for putting this thing together. One more round of applause, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Next week, we got the great Ricky Woodard. And uh, I want everybody to know on October 29th, we're having a benefit uh, for Nolan Shaheed who uh, is dealing with uh, a cancer fight. So everybody, if you can come down and, and be a part, we're gonna do it over at Barbara Morrison's and the World Stage at the same time. So if, if, if everybody can, uh, can make it on the 29th of October, um, uh, we wanna really you know, come together, bring some money, get some money so Nolan can get the treatment that he needs to take care of his business because uh, we can't afford to lose that good angel right there on this planet. So please, everybody, come out on October 29th from 3 until 7, okay? And that means musicians, too. We All of y'all come out and be here, too. One more time for Marvin Smitty Smith, Chris Lowry, Edwin Livingston, Dale Fielder, Adam, Led better. <laughs> My Ralph Moore. <laughs> All right. God bless you and keep you and give you peace. Good night, everybody. You really got to be some kind of nut. Trying to make it real compared to what? Come on, yeah. Come on, Nick.